Hello, I am Wonder001, and this is my review of the RAV Power 20,100 milliamp external battery pack. So this is a very large, substantial, both in size and capacity, battery pack. What you're looking at for the product size itself is a length of 6.7 inches with a width of 3.1 inches and a depth of 0.8. Now, because those might mean absolutely nothing to you, I do like to use everyday objects. So here we've got a deck of cards and you can see that you are looking at pretty much uh, almost two packs or a pack and a half worth of playing cards for the overall size lengthwise and depth you really are looking at it's pretty much the depth of a regular pack of cards now for comparison also here is a standard one dollar uh, usd currency uh, and you can see that it is much larger than this particular bill um, so so it really is a very large power pack but what you're getting is a extraordinarily large capacity meaning that you can charge several devices or one device numerous times. So before I get into some of the, the general stats, I will also mention that the RAV Power Pack did come with a USB to micro USB cable, and that cable is two feet long. So not terribly long when it comes to cables, but they threw it in there with it. Uh, it did not come with a wall wart, which in my opinion is one of the shortcomings of this particular uh, power pack. So actually, why don't I just get into it right now. To charge this very large capacity power pack, you're looking at on average about nine hours, 15 uh, minutes, plus or minus, depending on lots of factors, what type of wall wart you use, what cable you're using. So. This is going to take quite a bit of time to charge. However, with that long charge time, you also get a very large internal battery. So what we're going to do now is take a look at the top here. Uh, the entire power pack is covered in this black matte finish. You do see some fingerprints, but not as many as you would have if this was a glossy finish. Right here, you'll notice that there is a button. This is what you press to get an idea of how much percentage of the battery is left. This is also what you would look at uh, to see how the charge was going. Now, as you're charging, these lights will light up. Uh, I'll roll in a little video footage there. And what you're looking at is a quick shot of it charging. When it's fully done charging, you'll see all the lights turn off as it is right now. And again, push the button and it will tell you how much is left. Coming along the sides, there's really nothing happening on either sides or the back. Underneath, you do have uh, the bylaw outputs, inputs, and so forth. Really, with something this size, it doesn't get terribly warm, but I do wish that they would have thrown in in the corners little rubberized feet so that I would not be putting this directly on a particular object. In this case, a wooden table or a carpet, depending on where you have this, a laminate countertop. I really do wish they would have thrown in a little rubberized feet to give you a little lift and breathing room underneath. Now, Coming across to the business side. Now this is what you're gonna be uh, looking at right here is the input for the device, which is five volt, nine volt, or 12 volt uh, micro USB. Here you have a type C three amp output connection. So really what you're getting this for, aside from the very large uh, capacity power pack in a small form factor, there are other power packs that are about this um, size in uh, milliamps. However, you're not gonna get them in this slim figure, but you're getting it for future proofing as well, because right now you might not have a USB type C device, but you could in the future, and this will charge it along with the devices that you currently have. Right next to that, you're looking at a quick charge port, which is nine volt, uh, I'm sorry, which is five volt, nine volt, or 12 volt. This is a Qualcomm 2.0 quick charge port. So if you have a phone that supports quick charge, this is the port you're gonna to wanna to use because, well, you'll get your charge really, really quick. And here you have your standard USB to uh, 2.4 amp output 
uh, port for just about every other device. Now, when I was testing this, I sadly do not have a USB uh, type C device that I could test this with. However, I do have uh, a cell phone that supports both Qualcomm's 2.0 quick charge as well as regular charging. So I used my Moto X 2014 model and using the standard port here, I was able to charge my phone in roughly two hours plus or minus and I was able to charge my phone six times. Now this is again a Moto X uh, 2014 model which has a 2300 milliamp battery. Then using the quick charge here, I was able to charge my phone in an hour 30 minutes and I got 5.5 charges out of this, so five and a half charges. Uh, so you do shave off about a half hour using the quick charge, at least that was my experience with my particular phone, but you do lose a little bit of charging uh, in that process. Now, I did also test because the idea behind quick charge is that you get enough of a charge to have the phone last a little extra time. So I completely killed my phone, zero battery, and in 30 minutes, I was able to use the quick charge port here and get up to 47% charge, which isn't half bad. So I did wish I had a C, uh, USB C type to test and share with you, but I did not. So really what you're looking at is a fairly small size factor for the milliamps that you have power bank that lets you charge either two devices or three devices if you have a Qualcomm quick, quick charge or a USB-C type connector. And I got this with the intention of having a very large power bank at my disposal. I do have several other small power banks uh, that I keep for everyday use, but this is longer trips and I need to have power for several days. Now, I did forget to mention that it does come with this carrying case. It is fabric, it is padded. The only thing I did not particularly particularly care for was the cinching up here. It uh, kind of started ripping pretty much after I got it because if we put this in here, I'll try and do that on camera and cinch it up. You'll notice it will not close completely and depending on how you have the ports, if you want them up here or at the bottom, uh, they may be exposed, but it does kind of pull a little bit at the corner there. Now, again, not a deal breaker, and it was nice that RAV Power added that, so you had a little bit of cushioning, especially if you're gonna throw this in a bag. So, what you're getting for future-proofing and a extremely large power bank, you're looking at spending anywhere between $55 and $45, uh, depending on where you find this. Amazon's probably the cheapest place that you'll be able to find it, uh, and really, for what I, I, I actually use this more uh, than any of the other power banks I have because it has a quick charge and my phone supports the Qualcomm kick, quick charge. I do not have a wall wart that does that and I kind of got really spoiled being able to charge my phone uh, up to 47% from a dead battery or in an hour and a half. I, it's almost impossible to go back to regular charging once you start doing that. But really uh, for what you're getting for the price, I, I would highly recommend if you have a lot of devices or one device and you're gonna be away from any type of power supply for any length of time uh, to invest in a power pack of this size. In fact, I suggest this one right here because uh, you're future-proofing yourself and it has a small form factor for the size of the battery that you actually get with it. So I have been Wander 001 If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.